looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys and today I'm going to go over what you guys need to be doing in Madden 21 right now. As you guys do know, we're in that little mode period before we actually do get to the most feared promo, but there's quite a bit of things you can be doing right now to make sure that you are prepared and ready to go into it. Because of course there's a lot of solos, a lot of things, and a lot of stuff you want to be really focusing on. Because once you get into uh, most feared and your currency drops and your cards drop and your solos drop and Halloween and everything starts to come around the corner real fast, before you know you're behind the game. And a lot of things just aren't going to get done as well as you could potentially miss some stuff now for today's poodle squad shout out before we get into the video shout out to alexander evans for being a part of the poodle squad thank you so much man for showing support each and every day i greatly appreciate you you guys want your own chance to be shout out in the poodle squad go down below like the video turn on the noti bell and comment down below poodle squad once you do all those things you are entered to be shouted out good luck if you need coins for anything head over to my reserve down below coins have been discounted even more than they were before so make sure to take advantage of that and go ahead and pick up some coins players and training use code poodle for 15 percent off now Getting to the video, guys, there are so many solos that you guys have to be getting done as soon as possible. I have some market stuff to go over. I have some solo stuff to go over, some recommendations, and a few other stuff as well. Now, obviously, these are the old solos that you could have gotten done at any point that you want to get done. Now, the ones that I'm really focused on are power-ups, team of the week, legends, and the 50. Now, I'm not going to go into them and play any of the solos or show them to you because, of course, you guys know what they are, but just to rerun it real quick, power-ups is a solo that gets you the free 50 power up player. You have one week to complete it. I recommend you get that done. Now, a lot of people thought they were gonna get it and sell it for a lot. That's really not the case. It's more so you're going to be able to get it. You can maybe sell it for like 30 to 40K, depending on what it's at now, but it's more so getting a player that you want from the 50. Because I recall myself having Reggie Bush and thinking, wow, if I could afford, or if I was willing to pay that money for that power up pro card, I would have a really good running back. You get the break tackle threshold, you get 92 speed, his excel will go up a little bit more, his catching. But I wouldn't. Now, because of this, I'm able to get it. So I feel this is like, I don't, I didn't never, I never really saw it as a coin making opportunity. I saw it more as like a thank you. I can finally power up my 50 players without feeling dumb for spending 250K on a power up card. So make sure you're getting that done. It's super quick. Doesn't, doesn't take long at all. Honestly, it could take you probably like under 30 minutes if you're, if, if you're, if you're average. If you're like speeding through them, probably 20. Um, but I highly recommend you go do that. Now, team of the week as well. You guys want to make sure you're playing those. Team of the week is your weekly solos. Now, we are on week five. If you guys do miss this one, I'm pretty sure if you missed the last three or four, you're pretty much knocked out of contention to, of course, go ahead and get your free team of the year player. So make sure you guys are going ahead and playing those as well. So highly recommend you guys get that done. Play them as soon as possible. Again, another quick uh, solo sequence, some full games, of course, but you can just you chew clock. Guys. Honestly, all you got to do in full games, halfback dive, chew clock, dive, chew clock. I go down like one, two, three downs every single time. Get to halftime. Force a fumble, do it again. It's very simple to do. And then your legend souls, of course, are for the legend tokens that you get weekly, so you can get your free legend at some point. Whenever all those tokens are said and done for that. And of course, guys, for the 50 solos, you do want to be going ahead and playing your weekly 50. Now, for the weekly 50, the weekly 50 one is the one that's going to get you those uh, those low pieces that you can go ahead to build your free player. And of course, those add up as well. That's just four of the ones that you want to be focusing on right now, because like I said. These are kind of a lot of solos as it is for it to be focusing on. And remember, once this does drop, most feared. Now, last year we had hints on it about around the 16th, and we pretty much got it revealed, or at least like pretty much told info by like the 19th and stuff, and we started getting the whole reveal and everything. So it's got to be coming soon. Now, I did say that maybe this Friday we get it. I don't know. They haven't even said a word. I'm hoping that they do mention it in today's morning stream. Of course, this video is recorded before then, so you guys will know before I do, technically, in this video. But hoping they mention it super excited about it but i know it's coming soon we're mid-october ready we know it's on we're on the cusp of getting it so just make sure you're getting ahead of the game getting all this stuff knocked out so when you go into most food you can focus on because guys most people are going to have solos we're going to have currency we're going to have exchange sets we're going to have house rules more than likely we're going to have new packs and rage cards objectives you know there's gonna be so much stuff and you guys just don't want to fall behind i'm telling you because I'm, I'm the kind of guy i've always been like this too if i have all these solos and they're like oh wow, they're pretty good right now if most feared comes out and offers me more free players and all these new solos, I stop caring about these old ones and I only focus on the new ones. And then by the time I come back to do the old ones, I'm like, ah, those rewards aren't as great in comparison to what I would have gotten back then. So essentially, I'm losing coin value as well as losing like the opportunity I would have had if I'd done them earlier. So just make sure you're getting that done, guys. And moving off to solos, the market. Now, this is what I've been doing. I've been selling some cards off, guys. The market was crazy expensive yesterday. I'm pretty sure it might still be. So I highly recommend you just take, take a gander. 
take a look into the market and see what you can get back now some guys that i've really been making a lot of coins on are the 50 players the 50 players like i said on the video yesterday i i pretty much said that i was pretty sure the power-ups being given away with the 50 was going to increase the value of some of the 50 players that like were cheap and just needed a power up to get better so for instance a guy that i sold for quite a big a large chunk of coin yesterday which i'm just gonna search because he's actually very expensive is walter jones i got walter jones for 215,000 coins now i sold him yesterday for i believe if i'm not mistaken he was 430 i sold him for 415 so i sold walter jones for 415,000 coins now he's come down a little bit but for all you guys like me and from probably most people who have him probably bought him within the 200k range or even lower depending on the day you got him so i sold him for 415 after reduction i'm looking around like 375 um and i made a profit of around 150k so 150 oh, 160k right brown ish so 160k for nothing just for having this card i had jimmy graham now jimmy graham's going for 384k i got jimmy graham for 250k i made again after reduction like 100k guys there's just been so much stuff i got miles garrett for like 115k i'm not even gonna go into that because that's gonna take a little bit of filtering there but i got miles garrett for like 115 120 sold him for 145 did i make much no but i made like 5 to 7k on it plus the 100k plus the other 140 50k -ish, 60k whatever it is it adds up trust me it adds up everything's been adding up so well for me right now uh reggie wayne got him for 115k 120k sold him for 152 again only made like 20k but it all adds up and so on and so forth i highly recommend you take advantage of the super high market and not everything is super expensive but the things that are i definitely recommend you sell and the things that aren't you stay with or you pick up i mean i do expect a crash to come in the near future but for the time being there's just a lot of good prices to take advantage of now if we go over to the highest one these are the ones that weren't impacted too much i mean like brett Favre came back up and so did steve hutchinson so like if you got them in that 220 230k range you can sell them and make a profit of like 20 to 30k so make sure you're looking into that as well we got steve smith senior of course the newest ones didn't get impacted too much because these guys were too high to begin with so they were on the come down so they weren't going to be impacted by uh rising prices but part of it was because yesterday with the new power-ups and stuff and people wanted to power up the 50 players pretty much people want to power up these 50 players so they got those 50 power-ups as they were powering up to 50 players they were buying 50 players off the market which lowered the demand i mean uh increased the demand lowered the supply of the um nfl level 50 players which made them go more expensive on the plot on the block next what happened after that was people noticed that they needed more training to, to power up these cards all the way they were expensive so people were buying a lot of core elites a lot of base legends a lot of low cards per overall like the lowest 92 93s one of them being walter jones and slowly their value skyrocketed because we're the training market rose for the day so that was kind of how all this kind of just broke down yesterday barry sanders is coming down in price finally which of course nice to see i would love to have him again but he's just been so expensive all year and the sad thing is that i spent that much for bo jackson the point which was very very dumb on my part kind of wish i never did that but i did but that's it for the market aspect now in terms of like sets and everything there's not much you want to be focusing on there guys the best thing i can say is just maybe maybe keep grinding out some trophies keep grinding out some online wins boosting up your uh your series progression because that's pretty much it from there on out like i pretty much covered the market i covered the solos once you got all that stuff done you're set there keep playing online keep building the coin stack snipe do what you got to do there but in terms of anything else i mean until most fear comes out that's pretty much the the blueprint of what you want to follow right there because uh, quite honestly like i said once most fear comes out you're going to be kind of consumed by that and before you know most fear comes out and then some ltds come out and before you know it's november and then the new consoles come out and then you're kind of hype about that and then before you know it we're at blitz and then thanksgiving and it's just a whole a whole stack on top stack of stuff so Hopefully, we're entering a very fun period of Madden, regardless. But we'll get, get, get some of this older, potentially boring stuff out of the way. Get that done. But guys, better for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the Noti Bell, boys. Come join the Poodle Squad. Comment down below, Poodle Squad. Like the video and turn on the Noti Bell. Once you do those things, you have a chance to shout it out. And if you need coins for any players, take advantage of the market. Whatever you got to do, head on over to my reserve down below in the description. Use code Poodle for 15% off. Take advantage of the discounted coins, guys. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.